It's less likely that terrorists would get nuclear weapons than that a state would get nuclear weapons. But a state, you can deter. This year marks my quarter century of working on the subject of security for nuclear weapons and materials and keeping them out of terrorist hands. And for a number of years, we were doing reports every year chronicling where are we on nuclear security? Where do we need to go? And what are some specific actionable proposals for addressing those gaps? This is a very difficult research problem because each country has a different approach to providing security for its nuclear material. And each country mostly keeps what it does secret. And so we spend a lot of time talking to U.S. officials and experts who have been to various places, talking to people from different countries. And what we try to do is take an integrated approach to assessing risk that looks at what are the kinds of capabilities that adversaries might have in a particular country. In Pakistan, it's totally plausible that you might have dozens of heavily armed men attacking a site. In Canada, that might be much less plausible. So you look at what are the adversary capabilities, then you look at, well, what are the security systems capabilities to defend against adversaries? And is it enough to match those adversary capabilities? And then you look at, well, how good is the nuclear material? In this report, Preventing Nuclear Terrorism, we offered an updated assessment of the threat which we said actually had gotten worse over the previous two years because of the rise of the Islamic State. And we offered a summary of what had been accomplished not just in the past two years since the previous report, but sort of overall over the last 10, 20 years. And then we made a series of recommendations calling for approaches to keep progress going after leaders were no longer meeting at the summit level anymore. These children are practicing to duck and cover just as you do in yours. The end goal in my mind is a world where the number of places where nuclear weapons and materials exist has been greatly reduced, the size of the stocks has been reduced, and a world where all of that material, all of those nuclear weapons, is protected against the full range of adversary threats that are plausible. We still have a ways to go to get to that world, but the progress that we've made over the quarter century that I've been working on it is remarkable.